That's my name. <laughs> the main question is, in skateboarding, does style matter more than skill? The answer could go on forever, so I'm gonna try to keep it simple, yes. Hell yes, depending on what you're trying to achieve. If success to you is being popular faster, making more money quicker by riding a skateboard, then style will take you there faster. But not even necessarily your style in skateboarding. Style, to a lot of people, means the way that you look while you skateboard, aka your fashion sense, but to me, skate style and that kind of style is a completely different thing. I'm realizing now that this video probably has to be broken up into answering two different questions. What is the difference between style and skate style, and the other one is what are companies and audiences looking for in a skater? We also have to find John Reyes. Oh yeah, what's up, man? Hey. Are we not allowed to do this oh, yeah, today? Yeah. I was here to skate, depends <laughs> what's going on. Oh, that's cool. fly off and hit one of my guys, what am I gonna say? Yeah. Oh, I open it, and load him to play and say, that's where the guy got injured? Hey. That's violation, bro. This is why kids think that cops are fucking out. No, but you doing what you're not supposed to do. If you listen, then we won't be acting like this. Apparently they were cleaning the skate park, and a few skateboarders went in there anyways just to ride around. So they called the park police, who I think also tried to call the cops, on the kids for being on the property without permission. LOL, my friend. I really don't remember these knobs at all. Dang it! found something to skate. I just want flat ground, something to get my legs warmed up. But let's tackle the first question. In skateboarding, I stand on the side where style to me is how comfortable someone seems on their board, how experienced they seem like they are. Clothing style to me, I don't even think about. Now the majority of people who say that person has good style thinks mostly about the clothing because skate style is a new concept to absorb and you can only really figure out what style is based on experience. So if you haven't skated for very long, it's hard to tell if someone has good skate style. I think a lot of times when people can tell that you're mirroring somebody else's style, a lot of people will assume you have bad style. So if mass appeal is what you're looking for, it's best to maybe take inspiration from people's style, but not try to imitate them completely, which I've made the mistake of doing several times. What? I don't know that. There's no possible way for me to know that because it's just flat ground. It doesn't hurt the actual ground. Yeah, you ever see anybody skateboard on a All the time. It doesn't damage the ground. Look at the ground, it's not damaged because skateboarders skate here all the time. Alright, have fun. Oh god, here we fucking go. What is it? You really think so? He came at me very rude. You actually think I should apologize to him. Even if it's a rule, it's not his concern. It's only the park ranger's concern. It's not, it's the community's concern. Well, if he's rude about it, there's no reason that I should apologize for responding like that. I definitely read it, but what is your concern? How about that? We use an honor system, and you've just disabused it. An honor system. And if I knew the number of the park rangers, yes, I would contact them. Okay, because this because changes you your outcome somehow. Don't try and cover up your own guilt. I feel terrible about riding on ground that doesn't mess up anything. And even if the park rangers who are here, they would react better than how you two are reacting because I've met the park rangers. I mean, if it makes you feel better, I'll leave. And then you can go home and think, I saved the day once again and made the world a better place. I am. He came at me rude. So who was childish first? You're telling me not to do something that is of no concern to you. Every concern is this situation. Sorry? Every concern is this situation to you. That's what you just said. You said, this is of every concern to me. Don't try and be a lawyer. No, 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 no. Every concern? How you doing? Oh, nothing, nothing. Holy shit. Let's go down to skate park. 
What's that? You have to go down to skateboard. Okay, cool. So no worries. I'll give you a ticket. Okay, no worries. Right. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thanks. Yeah, take care. My remote just died. Really? Sean Ray's just hit me up and was like, come down to Battery Park. And I was like, okay. And my thing died. So now I can't make it another mile down this road pretty much because this thing. Never mind. I'm tired of getting kicked out. I need a sure thing. Oh, John Ray's, where you at? We near Freedom Tower. I see Freedom Tower, but I do not see we. Hey, dude. All right, let him in. I'm trying to find you, but not moving. <laughs> I haven't totaled more than 30 minutes of skateboarding today. John Reyes, I have a question about the scooter world. It's Jonathan Reyes. Oh, Jonathan Reyes. What is more important, my friend? Straight up, style or skill in becoming successful? That was a true question. Successful where? That's a good question too. See, there's like so many variables that it breaks down into. For me, it's working with skill, but it might have worked better if I just like... Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was trying to talk about. I was basically saying if you want to become successful more fast in skateboarding, you then it's be better sick. to work. Yeah, you'd be sick. Sick. John Ray's loves this sick thing, and yes. <laughs> so just faking it. Like that would do double the views on Instagram. <laughs> it's almost like fake style is better than anything else. Yeah. We'll take you farther. Like you're in the ocean, but you're clearly on concrete. Right, and you're just copying somebody else. So what are companies and sponsors looking for in skaters? Well, nowadays it seems to be attention. A skateboarder with more attention can probably get sponsored a little easier or at least start getting hooked up with a company. When I was younger, I just didn't notice. And then as I got older, I was like, huh, that skater never really did much. He didn't really do that many hard tricks. And I don't really know why he was so popular and then it hit me it's because of marketing it was just because some part of him appealed to me in some weird way and they marketed him a certain way that made him popular that had very little do to do with skill and obviously it also has to do with the company itself a lot of companies do look for more skill and they hope that that is what will work out for the skater don't do it dude <laughs> And Mike Carroll from Crailtap, Lakai, Slash Girl, all those companies said that he's just looking for somebody who's cool, somebody you can hang out with. And I think at the end of the day, everybody now who would start a company watching this would think, oh, I'd love to sponsor my friends. I would like to just get paid to hang out with my friends and ride skateboards all day. And I think a lot of companies do that and then people get upset because they're like, I want to ride for your company too though. And they're like, well, we didn't start this to sponsor everyone. We started this because we wanted our friends to have a way to ride forever. But now we have a business. So how do we move forward? The truth is it's a very very confusing business. It's very subjective and a lot of people are looking for different things. But it does seem like caring about your personal fashion style seems to be carrying skaters farther. That does kind of rub me wrong. You gotta call a bunch of, of I guess it's you guys, a bunch of skateboarders. Okay. There's location here, it's like sense of location. They don't want people like running. Cool. No worries. So what, you, know, you know why. Right? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Cool, no worries. John, what's next, dude? You have a dry spot? Suicide. Dude, what is that? That's the thing you gave me the other day? You gotta link me with that company. You want something? Yeah, that was just you. <laughs> that was mean. That was hard. That was mean. Hang me off your bed post. Too many people. one where the lady called me an idiot was the easiest one to deal with because it was funny first of all but she walked away without a scratch she wasn't bothered at all but the people who were the most bothered were the ones who dove into a conversation with me 
Anyways, I don't really have anything else to say about it besides relax. Life's chilling. We're all very lucky and blessed. If you're sitting here watching a YouTube video right now, you have so much more advantage than a lot of people in this world who don't even have Wi-Fi, my friends. And on that note, guys, I'll see you later for another video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking these videos and everything you do. Guys, humans, aliens, whoever's watching this, I love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing it. Thank <laughs> you.